MMI 2G hat unit, Ref A version that has the uh, F bus upgrade from the non A to the A and with the component protection, how to solve it easily. Okay, so this is the Q7 uh, head unit in the Audi A8, but this one happened to be from the Europe and with the Europe option. So now if you look here, you can see it said off-road, so now it's easier to see. One thing is that the radio, there's no sound. You see this one here? It's caused by component protection. So we're going to try to fix that. You see the Q7 there? That's not an A8. Even if we fix this one, the sound to work, we still have to return it. This is European. The software is twenty. Way the CD doesn't work either. Okay, so this is the Q7 head unit. I loaded my A8 EE prom into the EE prom of the Q7. Even though VCDS would say the component protection, but after I recode all the module and the sound came back, but the file didn't have it before. This one is European but anyhow what I'm confirming is that that the component protection will be on but the sound I still get it originally the sound didn't work so this is a Q7 so it's missing a few things but the camera the graphic is really clear better than my uh, uh, FBUS installation navigation works AM FM works, but it said here wave band. It's not band. Okay, so it's different. So it's kind of weird. Okay, so this is the CH341A programmer. And if you look here, they have eight pins. So this one is for 25 series, and this one is for the 24 series, which is the one we're going to use. So we need four wires will be coming out of this, go into the board. So make sure that the right hand side, the first one, is pin one. And the left side is oh, pin the wires. Pin five, pin six, and pin eight. That's all we need, four wires. But if you don't have the soldering iron, you can use this one and twist it, the wires, onto these pins correctly, okay? So the pins on the top here, make sure it's correct. And the wire we need to use is 30 gauge, small one. So it will fit through the via on the board itself to make good contact. So this pin one, I'm going to put right here, make sure that it's in pin 1, and then we'll put it correctly, it will lay down flat, and then we we'll lock it. Or, if you don't want you to use this, then you can put the wire straight into it, but you have to keep them all together before you lock it down. So we need total of 4 pins. So you need pin four on this side, make sure, and then pin five, pin six, and pin eight. So you put four wires in, and you lock it down to make good contact. The important thing is they have to make good contact. If not, you're not going to be able to read or write into the It do come with the clip, but this clip, is for sock IC, not for T sock. The one we have is T sock, which is smaller than this. And the 24 C64A, A is for 1.8 volt. Okay, so this VR, the first one here is VCC, and this pin 5, and this is pin 6. And this one is ground on the way over here, which is pin four. Since this voltage is gonna pass
power the whole board. So the best one is to do it in the first or do it in the first two minutes before the power and it become unstable. So the two wires in the back here, the extra wire may touch each other. So make sure they're not touching each other, okay? The power in, the light should be on, okay? And we want to make sure that the wiring is correct, so we're going to read. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to go to the website that sell the programmer and download the drivers, okay? So the one that you want to get is the... 2009 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna install this one so click install I already installed it so I don't want to install it anymore so all you need to do is to go and get the version so the version they give you is 1.18 version you want is 1.34 so all you need to do you to plug in the device and then you can hear it and then you can see the red light on the head unit so now we're going to open this up so the one that we have is 64A and it's not 64 only okay so we have to choose Atmel AT24C64A. Now we want to make sure that it works first because it is serial USB. And if you don't connect everything correctly, you're going to mess up the EEPRO. So, first is what you need to do is to read. After you read it, one, you save it. As re no, read one dot bin. So I'm a safe person. I'm going to do all five. So I want to do many, many times to make sure that it reads. See, right now it's read wrong. So the USB is not good. So we have to unplug and plug it back in. Again. Read again. So now we save this one again. So dealing with these, very careful. Read six dot bin. Always read first. Never erase or do anything like that. So now we're done with this. We do we did six times. Right? We're gonna compare all of the image that we extracted from I square C at mail 24 C 64 a remember that analysis data comparison I want to compare my just red bin 4 and bin 5 and we click OK the two chosen files are identical. So we're good. Do another one. So now we're going to choose number one, the first one I did, and number six. Okay. Okay, so this is my, I'm going to read it. Read it again. Good. Save. So we're going to save a eight dot bin. All right, we're going to read again. Save again. A eight one dot bin. So let's unplug it.
and plug it back in. So let's see if we read the same. Save a a two bin do one more time. All right, save a a three dot bin. All right, and plug this. So what we want to do right now is to compare to make sure that is good. So let's data comparison, compare, A8 bin, and let's try A8 bin 3. So what happened? It's different. So let's check, compare bin to bin 1. Okay, so the last one, because we waited for a long time, so that's a problem. So always program in the first minute or so, or read pin 1 and A2. All right, so the first three are good. The last one is bad. A8 pin 1, A8 bin is E3. It is not A. The serial number, so it's here. All right, so let's program it. All right, we're going to plug it in. And we're going to read and make sure it's the same. Yeah, so it's good. Now we're going to open A8 bin. And we're going to write. We're going to unplug it. We're going to plug it back in and we're going to read it. So we're going to save this one to Q7 new. All right, so let's look at it. We're going to unplug this. We don't need this anymore. Compare the data one is A8, the data two will be. Q7A8. Okay. Wow. Made it. So, it's all good. Okay, we're done. So when we need to turn on the hidden menu to get the suspension menu back, since it's missing. So after I turn on the uh, hidden menu, we're going to push these two and we go to the current config and look at this the green menu is so weird it doesn't look like the green menu that I have but it's still fine but the thing is that you have to remove all of these stuff for the sound to come back too so that's what I'm saying is that make sure what you have in the car and what you don't have in the car. So that sounds like I have no idea what these means, but I know for sure I don't have lane assist, side assist. And also, the view option, I don't need that. This one right here. I don't know what APS means. That suspension wasn't there, so I have to turn it back on. Rain sensor I have, seat memory front I have, RVC I have, owner manual, onboard computer. I don't know what this one is, so I, I don't touch. All right, uh, all the air suspension is working. Towing, setting, let's do English here, and setting, navigation is not active, I know, I'm not going anywhere, 
So this one changed to mouse speed, mouse temperature, Fahrenheit, pressure, PSI. So it should come out good. So what I'm saying is that if you have the original image, then you can put it on any car. By the way, the seller will send me an E, software E, from US, I think. So he's going to get this one back. So I'm going to reprogram everything to original and give it back to him. AM FM works. So it's kind of weird. Record everything inside my this head unit. Okay, so we're going to go to control head. So what we're going to do is going to go to coding. Now, first thing first. And what you want to go to is the CAN gateway. And we call go to the installation list. So here, what do I have? So let's screen capture this one. Okay, so why don't we save the coding? So for one E. So we're gonna screen capture this one. So this is the last one. So screen capture this one. So this is all of the stuff in my Audi A8 2006 with everything in there. Let's open the head unit. Control head 07. Fault codes. The millions are over here. Lane change assistant, which we don't have. So the component protection is the one that's there. So we're going to go to coding. Now, first thing first. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that everything that we have here is programmed into the head unit. Six left hand drive, okay, do that. So we go to electronic one, we go to the radio, we go to coding, see what it says. So this North America, do it.